Okay, today I'm going to show you how to set the custom settings on the mode dial to act like your shutter mode dial. Okay, the Pen F has replaced my D750 as my daily go-to camera for photo walks, hikes, walking with the dog, things like that. And I, I used to use the D750 and carry this around. And what's missing on the Pen F is a shutter mode dial. And that's something that I think was an oversight in my opinion, but there's an easy way around it. You can set up the custom settings on your mode dial on the Pen F to work as your shutter mode dial instead. So what I do is for 99% of my shooting, I shoot an aperture priority, auto ISO, um, single shot. So that's gonna be my first setting. And let me go ahead and show you how I do that. What I'll do first is, I'm gonna go into the menu and we're in shooting menu number one. Go into reset and I'm gonna do a full reset so everything's back to factory. And first thing you see is this little info window pop up telling you what this line item is for. And it's very handy when you first get the camera to learn about all the different settings within the, the menus. Uh, after a couple of days or whenever you get kind of familiar with the menu system, it's really annoying. So an easy way to shut that off or is just click the info button again. And now the little info pop-up windows will stop. And now back on the main screen, you'll see an A here, which means I'm in aperture priority or A mode on the mode dial. You can change this, obviously, if you'd rather shoot in program mode all the time and just want to have the shutter uh, mode change uh, on demand. But me, I prefer to shoot in aperture priority, so that's where I'm going to start. And now that we're in aperture priority, all I have to do is change the shutter. So let's go in. Let me just uh, touch on a couple of things, though. The default setting for picture mode is natural, number three. And that only affects your JPEGs. Your raw pictures will still come out plain raw with no uh, modifications to it. These picture modes are for your JPEGs only. So even if I set this to monochrome, what it's gonna do is your viewfinder is gonna look monochrome. You take a picture, but then your end result in your JPEG, in your file, raw file will still be full color and you'll have to post process it anyway. Um, unless you're doing raw plus JPEG, so you'll have a black and white JPEG and then you'll have your normal uh, full information, full color raw file. The next setting here is your image quality and I do need to change that. Right now the default setting from the factory is large normal JPEG. I'm going to change that to large fine plus raw. So what large fine is, is JPEG mode, full resolution, 20 megapixels in its highest quality, which they call fine. And then it also gives me the raw file in addition to that. So you'll always have two files with every picture you take. And now that that's done, I'm pretty much done at this point. So let's go ahead and set custom setting one to be aperture priority single shot anti-shock and I'll explain that in a second so I'll go into the super control menu by just clicking the OK button I'll scroll over to the shutter control and right now you'll see it's set to single I will change this to the next one over which is anti-shock and what that does is is it reduces shutter shock that you can experience sometimes at different shutter speeds. And honestly, I don't know why uh, they even have single shot without the anti-shock. They should just make every mode in the mechanical shutter anti-shock. But um, I'm sure there's a reason, I just don't know what it is. Okay, now that I have aperture priority, single anti-shock shutter, large fine plus raw, all I have to do is set my custom setting one uh, dial to do that for me. So I'll go back out, oops, go back up to the top, and instead of reset, I'm gonna do assign custom mode. So I just click okay, 
And you can see there's a double dash, meaning the C1 is, hasn't been assigned yet. If I click OK, it's going to say Set. And Set Current Shooting Mode and Settings. So I'll just click OK. So everything that's set in the camera now has now been saved into C1. From here, the next shutter mode I want to program is Silent. So all I have to do is go back into the Super Control Panel. It's, it's already on the Shutter Mode icon. And I'll change that to uh, Silent, which is the little square with a heart. Click OK. And then I'll go back into the menu, assign custom modes, scroll down to C2, click OK, click OK, and now C2 is set to silent aperture priority. Next mode I want to do is continuous high, silent. So I'll change that, and I can just do that <clears throat> with the dial without going into another menu. And you'll see it says right here, H for high, silent and click OK or just click the shutter button and or tap the shutter button. Go back into the menu, assign custom mode, scroll down to C3, click OK, click set, click OK, and voila, I'm done. So now all I have to do when I'm out shooting is shift my camera to C1 and you'll see here it says C1, aperture priority, and the icon is showing me single shot anti-shock. So that's it. And of course, the large fine plus raw. Uh, if I want to go into silent mode, I just turn the dial to C2, just like that. And now you'll see I'm in C2, aperture priority, single shot with a little heart, which means silent mode. And then if I want to go to continuous high, you'll see C3, aperture priority. Now I'm in continuous high. So that's an easy way to switch very quickly your shutter mode from shot to shot. And that's that. hopefully that's very helpful. I'm going to show you actually one more that I use a lot <coughs> that I program C4 to, and that's the bracketing shots. But there's, there's two steps you need to do, OK? Now for bracketing, there's there's an option menu. So let's go let's go back into the, the shooting menu, and we actually have to go into shooting menu number two. So let's go down there, and you'll see bracketing is off by default. So let's scroll over, scroll down. You'll see an arrow pop up here on the right, which means you can go over right for some more options. The default is three frames, one EV, and I found that's really not good enough. So what I do is I scroll down to five shots, one EV. So basically I'm capturing five stops of range uh, with each picture, uh, in addition to the camera's normal dynamic range outside of that. There's, there's seven shots and there's seven shot, uh, seven frame, seven EV, which theoretically gives you a little more dynamic range and, and you know, but that's just too much. I, I don't like processing seven raw files for a single HDR shot. <clears throat> and that's it. So I'll click OK, click OK, click OK, and now I see the bracketing is on. The next thing I need to do is go back out to the shutter control menu, or super control menu, and I want to change the shutter all the way over to, you know, these are the timer ones, two second, two second anti-shock, Okay, what you see here is the timer with a C. And you click the info button to change the settings here. And I'll set this first one delay, the timer delay to 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna set the number of frames to five. And then the interval length to half a second, which is the shortest available. And then I'm gonna turn the every frame autofocus off and click okay. Now I want to go into the menu and save that to my C4. So I'll go back to shooting menu one, scroll down here to reset assign, scroll down to C4, click OK, click OK. Yep, we're set. OK, so now you can see the camera set for bracket mode, 
So I can change this to, see if I change it to C2, it goes to the settings I had for C2. C3 I know is my continuous high. And C4 will put me back into bracket mode. So five frames, one EV. And the way I set up the custom shutter is now when I click the shutter button, there's a 10 second delay. And I, I do that 10 seconds because a lot of times I'm on a monopod with the, like the little feet and it takes a good 10 seconds for it to stop moving after I touch the camera. And now you can see it's going to take five shots automatically without me having to touch the camera again. And that that's, you know, that's gold. I just, I, I use that a lot. Okay, hopefully this video helped you out uh, setting up your custom settings on your mode dial here on the Pen F. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to do some more videos on other settings I use for the Pen F. I just barely scratched the surface. Uh, of the things I do to make this camera operate a little bit more like my Nikon did and give me the best image quality uh, possible. Thanks for watching.